Hey guys, it's Akari here. We've reached 1k. Jesus. Well, we did a while ago, but because of my finals, I wasn't able to make a video to commemorate it. But now I can since I finished them, so here it is. My 1k Q&A. I asked you guys to ask me some questions via the community tab about a week ago, and here are the questions. Leslie asks, What got you into ASMR? Hmm... Well, I got into ASMR when quarantine hit over at my place, and at the time I was heavily into like voice acting. I would watch stuff like Sea Dog VA or like other voice actors in like, the anime industry. And one day, I think it was Tashi, but an ASMR artist video popped up in my recommendations, and I was I decided to give it a try, and uh, yeah, here I am now making videos. <laughs> Next question is, do you listen to ASMR yourself? Yep, I do, actually. However, I haven't been able to listen much of them as of late because of my finals, but I have been picking it back up again. The next question is, what's my favorite song? Ah, uh, <laughs> that's quite hard since I don't really have a favorite song. I'm a really indecisive person, but I guess some songs that I've been listening to a lot recently would be Lag Train by Inabu Bakumori, I think? Eden Through the Rough by Takanori Nishikawa, that's a good one. Shadow and the Truth by One Three Notes. Remember by Cold Rain. Damonish, I think that's how you say it, by Tu Yu. And Ghost from Hoshimachi, Hoshimachi Suise. Stumble whenever I say her name. Next up is what's my favorite? <laughs> what's my favorite color? Definitely it would be pink. I I don't know why I'm just obsessed with the color pink right now. Neko Yuki Audio asks, "How was your day?" Uh, my day's been fine, I guess. I've just been working on this video, and that's about it. But thank you for asking. <laughs> Next is what's your favorite computer game? That's a tough one, because I am indecisive as hell, as I mentioned earlier. But some games that I enjoy a lot currently would be uh, the modern Sonic games. Well, not all of them. I guess a few of them, like, say, Sonic Unleashed, Sonic Generation, Sonic Colors, and maybe a few others, like Sonic Team Racing? That was a good one. But... Yeah, just a bunch of the modern Sonic games, except Forces. That game is so boring, I, I just can't. I don't know why I bought it. <laughs> Some other games, I guess, would be Terraria, Minecraft, CSGO, Valorant, Rainbow Six Siege, Genshin Impact, and a few others. But those are the ones that pop into my head. Do I have any pets? Um, no. I don't have any pets right now. But once I do get to live by myself, I really want to get either a dog or a bird. I just want a pet so bad. <laughs> uh. Next question is, what type of superpower would you like to have and why? Uh, flight, because I just want to eat myself across the earth. That would be awesome. I don't really need anything else. Next question is, why Akari? Well, the answer to that is actually quite simple. It's because it's the name of my waifu. I'm not kidding. I decided to have this name because it was the same name as my waifu, Akari Watanabe. Yeah. <laughs> Next question is, what is my favorite book? Well, when it comes to, like, say, novels and stuff, I don't really read much. Since I read more comics and manga, because I'm just that much of a weeb. But when it comes to novels, I guess it would be, uh... 36 Clues? I read that book back when I was in elementary and in middle school, and I loved the hell out of it. But, yeah, I guess that's it. Maybe Percy Jackson? I never really read Harry, Harry, po eh, Harry Potter, because I wasn't that type of guy. When it comes to manga, however, I'm indecisive, like, once again. So I would say some of my favorite mangas would be Fufu Ijo Koibito Miman, Black Clover, Blue Period, and 
Kawaii Dake Janai Shikamori san. Those are my current favorites. Those are really good mangas, and I would highly recommend reading them. Arts Audio asks, What's my favorite anime? Well, uh, <laughs> I don't have a favorite. <laughs> but I do like Jujutsu Kaisen, Clan Ad, Rent a Girlfriend, Black Clover, Rokurai Kishi no Cavalry, Kyokai no Kanata, and Suisei no Omnioji, even though the ending was a bit of a shit show and a half, but I enjoyed my experience. Next is. What's my favorite Osu map? It better not be Kira Kira Days. <laughs> oh god. Don't worry, it's not Kira Kira Days, but my favorite map would probably be Byoshin Wokamu, mapped by Irohas, I think. That's a really fun alt map. IXZOXI asks, sorry if I butchered your name, but they asked, how would you like your coffee? With milk and a teaspoon of sugar. That's just perfect for me. What is the ultimate utensil? Sporks do not count. Spoons, cuz they- Can you pick up soup with a fork? No. But you can pick up noodles and other stuff with a spoon. It might be a little harder, but you can do it. Number three. Did you drink water? No, I haven't had water in the past two hours. Go touch some grass. No, make me. Re. Anime thighs. <laughs> yes. Do I play any instrument? I used to, actually. I used to play the guitar back when I was in middle school, but then I had to move countries, and it kind of broke during shipping, and I just haven't been bothered to repair it since. Chloe asks, what's my zodiac sign? My zodiac sign is Aquarius. Swag Eevee asks, oh god, this is a long list. Name the last five ASM artists that you've watched. Ah, I can't really remember, but. Mm, well, I guess it would be Soroxy, Tashi, Teacup Audios, Honeydew, and Sunflower, probably. What is your favorite ASMR trigger to listen to? When it comes to triggers, I guess it would be wood tapping. I don't know why, but something about the sound of tapping wood seems so relaxing to me. I usually listen to it whenever I want to like focus on like, say maybe working on a video or other things, or just when I want to sleep. It it's just really relaxing to me. What is your least favorite trigger to listen to? My least favorite trigger would uh, definitely be eating. I just don't like the sounds personally. Yeah. What is your bedtime routine? Well, it's simple. I wash my face, brush my teeth, and eat my body into the bed and repeat. What's your favorite trigger to do? Well, since I do roleplay, I don't really do triggers. But I guess it would be kissing? I don't know. How long does it take you to make a video? Well, I guess it depends on my schedule since my family just loves to make unexpected plans out of nowhere. One day I'll just have a clear schedule for the entire week and nothing to do. And then the next day my entire week is just jam-packed. But usually a video would take around two to three days. Do I watch your own videos? Yeah, just to check for errors and stuff. What softwares do you use to edit? Well, for my thumbnails, I use Canva. But I used to use Krita, out of all things. Don't ask me why I did, I don't know either. But when it comes to compositing, on the other hand, I use DaVinci Resolve. What time of day do you usually film? Uh, I usually record around 4pm to 12pm. Mm, but I guess it just depends on, uh, well, my schedule, because I'm pretty much fine to record at any time of the day. But usually I just find myself recording around those times. What is your favorite video that you've made? Uh, honestly, I think the ones that I found 
like really fun to record would either be my ex-boyfriend writes a letter to you video or um, a closed oven because I don't know why but I find the more sad or emotional lines a lot more fun to deliver have one of your videos had unexpected negative fan reactions uh, so far no not really which honestly I'm kind of surprised with what videos of yours do you think didn't get the love it deserved? Uh, definitely would be a closed oven, because I remember putting a lot of effort into that video, especially the crying part. What's something the audience doesn't know about the behind the scenes of your channel? Something that nobody who has met me, either on Discord or in real life, would never know, would probably be that I probably have the most crackhead energy in this entire community. <laughs> Once I start streaming, you guys will understand what I mean. <laughs> What's the most absurd request you've received from a fan? Definitely it would be to dress up in a maid costume and be a crybaby. <laughs> yep. Do your family and friends know that you make ASMR videos? Yep, and they're pretty supportive of it. Actually, one of my friends also make ASMR, uh, Sister Simp. You should definitely check him out. Have you ever been recognized in public by just your voice? Nope. Because aside from my friends, family, and a few people in my school, I don't think anyone knows that I do ASMR. What inspires your video ideas? Well, whenever I make scripts, I feel like some of the stuff I write gets heavily influenced by, like, anime and manga. Um, although I only have, like, one video up where the script was written by me, uh, later down the line, once I make more videos about scripts that I wrote, then you'll definitely see, like, a similarity between, like, the stuff I write and manga and anime culture. Where do you find yourself spending most of your time online? On Discord, definitely. <laughs> That's why you should join my Discord server. Link will be in the description below. Shameless plug, let's go. What advice would you give someone who wanted to make their own ASMR content? Well, since I'm basically still a beginner when it comes to ASMR roleplay, or just voice acting in general. I don't really have much advice, but one thing I would recommend to someone who wants to start out is to just upload consistently. Because consistency is quite important, and I know I should be taking my own advice, but I swear I'll upload more consistently starting now. Well, that was all of the questions, I guess. Um. Thank you guys so much for 1k. Honestly, I didn't believe I would reach it in the time span that I have been uploading. And yes, I've had a few like breaks from YouTube and I didn't upload in those times. But considering that I didn't even upload in like say what three months now? The fact that I still got to 1k still amazes me. So thank you guys so much for the support, and I hope that you guys continue to support me down the line. Thank you guys, and see you next time. Peace!